Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. A lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. Shout out to the most high, bro. What's your question, bro? Okay, let me see if you understand it though. Read me. What's your Bible verse? John 3.16. Let's read to John 3.16. Do you understand what John 3.16 is going into? I am most of my Alright, read to John 3.16. Come on, come on, come on, look close. I don't know what you said on the mic. John, John 316, the gospel of the word he gave the only begotten son. She was a shelf in the earth, not pass the everlasting life. So that's for all mankind, huh? That's what you believe, John 316? Let me ask you, ask you a question, brother. What does John 314 say? Bring it out. You haven't read that? It's programming, brother. It's programming. See, a lot of people, they love to run John 316. God loved the world. Hey, brother, did you know it was a basketball world? Did you know it was a uh, sea world, ski world? So let's go find out what the world world means, bro. Bring it out. Give me that out. What a, uh, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord uh -huh. with an everlasting salvation. He said, now Israel, this time about Israel, shall be saved in the Lord. Read. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded. What is Israel? World without end. What is Israel? World, world without end. Israel is the world that it's talking about. Give me 1820. Read this up. Give me your back up. Come on. The book of Acts, chapter 2, and verse 21. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass that whosoever. He said, now whosoever, now this is talking about the whosoever. Read. Shall call on the name of the Lord. Shall be saved. Yeah, brother. The Bible said, whosoever that calls on the name of the Lord gonna be saved. But you gotta keep reading. Mm -hmm. Read. Ye men of Israel. What does the Bible say? Ye men of Israel. What does the Bible say? Ye men of Israel. So let's go back and let's go read what John 3.16 says again. Now. Read it up. For God so loved the world, he said, well, God so loved, loved the world of Israel, read, that he because. gave his only begotten son, uh -huh. that whosoever, said that whosoever is what? And shall believe him, who is the whosoever? Israel, brother, hey, sister, y'all come on and get some of this word, man. Read, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, uh -huh. but have everlasting life. Uh-huh. He said, whosoever shall believe on him, read that up, read that last part again. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that John 3.16, brother, is talking about the world of Israel, that's brother. That's right. See, that's the thing. Everybody got those verses. We, guess what? I heard John 3.16, and I didn't even read the Bible, brother. Mm. But I heard John 3.16, that's all go Steve Austin. Push me like a bird. John 3.16. So come, on, come on, brother. We're gonna see if you know. We're gonna, we're gonna listen to you. What's the name, Bert? Psalm 16 through 15. Okay. I will look up my eyes until the hills become my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So, so basically, we just gonna look to where our strength is, right? Let's go read what, read that what brother said. Psalms what? 16 and 15. 16 and 15. You mean Psalms? 15 16. Psalms 16 through 15. 16 through 15? What chapter? What chapter, brother? 16. What's the chapter? Verse 15. Yeah, bro, we're trying to see what you're talking about. Because guess what? I know. Our people, they uh, they like to read the Bible, but they really kind of really don't know it. That's fine, though. I think it says 16 or 8 and 9. That's me. The book of Psalms. 
Psalms chapter 16, verse 8. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Uh -huh. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. That's, man, bro, do you understand what they're saying? Let's go to that precept box. Yeah, let's go to that precept. See, because the thing is, our people, they pull scriptures. But brother, do you understand it? Well, that's what uh, Peter asked the unit. Do you understand it, what thou read? Why should read that? The book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 35. Uh -huh. Verse 34. Uh -huh. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, uh -huh. now, now no more to return to corruption, uh -huh. he said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Uh -huh. Verse 35. Wherefore he says also in another psalm. Now that's just going back into psalms, the same verse that you just, you try to get us to read, read. Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. See, because most, because the most high when he sent his son, he didn't, his son didn't see corruption. His son was a per perfect vessel. He, that's why he was the perfect lamb to, put, to bring us back into the fold. Right. See, the thing is, he came to save a, a nation of people. The thing is, yeah, everybody think God, I mean, God sent his son to save the whole world. He didn't see his sin his only God. He don't see his only begotten son to save the whole world. He sent his son to save a nation of people. That's so right. We're going to find out who these people is right now, man. Read that up. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Uh-huh. That's a lot. But he answered and said, I am not sent, uh -huh. but unto the lost sheep uh -huh. of the house of Israel. You keep notice that we keep reading about Israel. Because the Bible is only for Israel and Israel only. Right. But our, our people want to save the whole world. Guess what? The salvation is only for us, man. That's right. That's what a lot of people fail to realize. Read it up. The book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 5. These 12, Yahweh shall sent forth and commanded them, saying, What did he say? Go not into the way of the Gentiles. He told them, Don't go into the way of the other nations. Read. And into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Uh huh. But go rather to the lost sheep. To the what? To, to the, the lost, lost sheep uh -huh. of the house. Of, of Israel. Israel. Because we, this Bible is for Israel and only for Israel. But right. our, our people, guess what? They suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. They want to save everybody, man. Read this out. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Because the God of Israel is the only God that's going to send his son to come back and save us. Man. Right. Read. For he had visited and redeemed his people. He had visited and redeemed his people. Man, read. And had raised up an horn of salvation for us. Yes, your house shall must yes. read. In the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Because since the world began, guess what? We was God's chosen people, man. That's right. Even to this present day, we still God's chosen people, man. Check it out. Read up. That we should be saved from our enemies. Now, he said we shall be saved from our enemies. Who is our enemy? Go to Deuteronomy 28, 68. We're going to show you who our enemies are, man. Who is that enemy? Yeah? See, uh, guess what? He is, the, he is the Diablo. He is the devil. He is the devil that the Bible speaks of. But guess what? Our people think the devil is supposed to be this uh, man in front of the ground with the pitchfork. Yeah? That's what our people think. But let me show you who our enemies are. Because we have enemies, man. That's Read right. it, up. Bring it up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again, with ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. Because the Lord said we was going to go back into Egypt again. First time we went to Egypt, we walked about to Egypt. But the second time we go to Egypt, the Lord said he's going to take us back in ships. What nation of people have went on slave ships? What nation of people, brother? Was it us? Or was it all other nations? It was only us, brother. That's right. It was only us. Right. Our nation, out of these 12 tribes, it was only us. We the ones that went on those slave ships, brother. Let's go keep on reading. Cause we, it's going to explain who, who our enemies are. Read it up. By the way whereof, uh, it's like, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Because guess what? We ain't the Gentiles, man. We are, the, we, are, we are the children of the wilderness, man. You looking at the Israel, you looking at the Israelites of the Bible, and you are Israelite too, brother. That's right. See, the churches these days have been telling us we Gentiles, man. God love everybody. 
you're a Gentile and God loves everybody. No, the Bible says you're an Israelite and God don't love everybody, man. That's right. Bring it out. And we prove that through the scriptures, man. But the, but the Bible can explain that the children of Israel went on slave ships. But it's got to, it's got to explain on who our enemies is. Watch this. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For what? Unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. And that's who he's going to get slave saved from. So when we came out to slave, slave, slave ships, lock it. Who were we sold to? When we came out to say slave ship, who were we sold to? White people, right? Guess what? You ain't saying it to us, man. You saying it to your God, man. That's right. See, the thing is, guess what? He don't understand because he riding with that Edomite, man. That's right. The thing is, this Bible said we were sold to our enemies. What's your last name, brother? What's your last name? Smoke. Smoke. Guess what? Nigga, 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 sold to Master Smoot down there in West Virginia. Right. Nigga, 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 sold to Master Smith down there in Tennessee. When we got about those slave ships, they sold us, didn't they, brother? They sold our forefathers into slavery. And guess what? We might not be in hardcore abundant slavery, guess what? But they living out the blood money of, the, of, of, uh, of their ancestors. That's right. What are we living out for? Or what we make it our jobs? They gonna get some. They, they gonna tax your money before you get it, and then when you get it, you got to spend it to keep what you got. Bring it out. Read up. And there, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. He said, when we get off them slave ships, we gonna be sold unto our enemies. So guess what? Those are still our enemies this day, and those are the people that we are gonna be saved from. That's right. What does a white man gotta be saved from? What does the Japanese man gotta be saved from? Ain't nobody oppressing them. Who's gonna be? Who's who's got them in bondage? Nobody's got them in bondage, but every nation has us in bondage. They has us, they have us in slavery. We're supposed to be owning everything. Guess what? They own everything. We go to work for them. That's right. Those are our enemies that we're going to be safe from. And when the Lord comes back, he's going to put things to right, man. Read that. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bondmen. For what? For bondmen. He said, we're going to be saved. We're going to be, we're going to be put into slavery. He's going to be for bond men, which is slave men, read, and bond women, and slave women, read, and no man shall buy you. He said, no man shall buy you. It's an old Quaker term, meaning no man can save us out of this condition. But the Lord have, 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 have raised up, he have raised up a holy prophet, man. The Americas, or the, uh, uh, the world call him Christ, but we call him Amashiach Yahweh man, which is in the Hebrew, brother. Watch this. I'm going to show you this. Read this out. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Because that's what we're going to be saved from our sin. The only reason why we're going through this condition, because guess what? We broke God's laws, man. As long as we come back to God, laws, statutes, and commandments, man, we get about it. We can do it. A lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're going to be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Yeah, I swear, things of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're going to be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Yeah, I swear. Chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Bring it out. morning, and the gates thereof land. He said the real Jews are in mourning. And the gates, they ain't got no, they ain't got no gates right now. We ain't got no protection. They are black. They are what? They are black. Now, the so-called white man wrote this Bible. They are black. If the so-called white man wrote this Bible and stepped on it, they would have took out that the rule of